Here is a cell with internal resistance connected to an external resistor, 4.7 ohms. Maximum power that can be dissipated by the resistor without overheating is 0 0.5 watts. So if this, this is, when current goes through this resistor, you know current, I'm going to draw the orange color current to show how current is flowing in the whole circuit. When the current goes through the resistor, it's going to heat up and dissipate some power. And that power, maximum, uh, P max is 50, uh, sorry, I'll just label this. P max is 0 0.5 watts. What is the maximum value of E so that it does not overheat? So you got to be, what is the E max? Uh? Because you want to find the limit so that it does not overheat. But how do you start? Where do you start? Maybe we can start by using, oh, wait a second, I know. If I know the P of this resistor and I know the R of the resistor, I can find current. Okay, let's, let's, let's chip it away bit by bit, reveal some information. So P equals to I square R. We know that the maximum power will occur when there's this maximum current is there. Okay, fair enough. So 0 0.5 watts equals to some maximum current. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to find out. R is 4.7. So you find a current that is maximum, which is, what's the value? Ah? Okay, about 0 0.326 amps. So I know when there is maximum power, the current in the circuit will be 0 0.326, and that's the, the highest I can go. I cannot go higher than that because the the poor resistor will overheat. So with that, now I can think of, okay, so I need to find what is E. I know everything else. So if there's internal resistance, remember this equation, E equals to I times all the total resistance in the circuit. We're going to use that. So E maximum, I guess I could change this to maximum. This is maximum. We will find out what is the maximum EMF that will cause this maximum current, that will cause this maximum power. So E max, okay, let's find it. I max, we just found that thing there. So it's 0 0.326. Resistances, let's add them all up. So 4.7 plus 0 0.5, 0. Okay, uh, so far. Then you multiply, lo. okay, so this one multiply by 4.7 plus 0 0.5. We will get roughly 1.696 volts. And that is the highest, highest you can go. If not, your resistor will overheat already. So 1.696, the closest answer will be 1.7. So the answer is C. Is it C? Yes, it is C. Okay. So that is how you can do this question. Just remember that we're looking at maximum power that will cause a maximum current due to a maximum EMF. That's how it all links together. That is all for this question. And I will see you in the next one.